Hi Leo. This is going to be your mid-month reading for May 2019. Check your moon, Venus, and rising if the messages don't resonate or if you'd like more insights. And leave a comment if you want to be a part of the giveaway for the Oracle of the Mermaids. By doing so, you've entered. What's going on with Leo? Mid month messages. Six of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are may have more than one option or you, you know you're just giving your attention spreading your attention you know like tending to more than one person if you're single or just dating but i feel like for some of you you might be being selective with who you give your energy to you know we have Wow, I see why, because you have five of swords as you're feeling, so there's a lot of conflict and, you know, like, competitive energy. And then we have the three of pentacles, so some of you probably are the ones who have the third party. Or you just tend into more than one person. Some of you, okay. You've seen someone as a knight of cups, so someone's offering you their cup. Someone's offering you their love, but you might be i feel like some of you may may not be wanting to talk to one person because of the pain that might have caused in the past like dating one person or focusing all your energy and attention on one person so some of you there may be multiple options for you and you're trying to like see what's best for you but if it's not that, some of you are definitely wanting to cooperate with someone, wanting to get along with someone and stop the the conflict with that person. If you're not dealing with more than one person, it's just that you're wanting to get along. But this person is offering you their love or they're basically someone is falling in love with you with the king with the knight of swords. Knight of swords. <laughs> knight of cups. I always I don't know why I do that. So weird, maybe have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius involved. But here we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio to start with. So we have a water sign. Let me make sense of this. Maybe it makes sense to you, but it's not quite making sense to me. The Ten of Wands. No, the Two of Wands. Oh my God, I'm not even seeing properly. If there's like new people watching, probably like, oh my gosh, something wrong with her. But the two of wands, okay, this person is feeling like they need to make a decision also. Um, we have the eight of pentacles. So this person could be busy with work. They could be very hard working. But they could be also wanting to work on the situation with you. But they're torn about something. Okay, there's something that they need to decide. And also the two of wands is about long distance. So some of you could be long distance. Some of you, this person is longing to be with you. But there's this conflict. There is work to be done in this relationship that this person might be willing to do with the eight of pentacles here. And they're seeing you as the fool, so... They might be seeing you as someone who is kind of carefree, willing to take a leap, you know, kind of light-hearted, you know, like fun and stuff like that. Or at least about the situation. This is just how they're seeing you at the moment. Or it could be that they see you as someone they want to take the leap with. We have the Four of Pentacles here, so we have... Probably both of you holding back and protecting your feelings here. 
some of you could be dealing with a cancer okay as well we have the fool maybe some aries energy but definitely one or one or both of you are holding back like really protecting your heart like really preserving something like holding back what's blocking you is the devil so some of you are dealing with a capricorn sorry about the noise in the background it's, it's so annoying some of you are dealing with a capricorn what's blocking you is um it could be codependency on one of you's part so one of you has a fear that fear of becoming codependent on the other that could be why you're holding back or they're holding back also this is about um control addiction maybe this person's love is addictive to you maybe it could be someone from the past who you were addicted to in the past and now you're like cautious not wanting to just talk to them not wanting to to fall back into that trap let me see it's still not making sense to me the eight of swords as your outcome so the end of this month feeling kind of stuck feeling like you don't know what to do maybe all you have to do is um just take a leap but you're not wanna you're not willing to do that here you're just gonna be feeling stuck i feel we'll see when we clarify let's just clarify now so it can start to make sense the three of pentacles Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh my gosh. Yep, definitely options for a lot of you. One of them being a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somewhere in the chart they have air. But, um,. Some of you definitely have options. It could be vice versa. It could be this person who has options, okay? But this is how I'm seeing it. That you have more than one person. I feel like one of these people is the one that you may have been in love with in the past. Five of Swords. The sun in reverse. the high priestess this could be a subconscious um, situation like an issue subconsciously you may have some fears some doubts deep down within yourself causing this conflict causing you not to want to go down the road of actually falling in love some of you could be dealing with a fellow leo Cups, this person you see this person is like maybe even like waiting for an answer it's almost like they're waiting for an answer but some of you are feeling like they might give up and walk away with the six of swords it's almost like you feel like you need to act now or it will be too late to give them an answer yes or no all right they're waiting for you right now but what if they get impatient what if they walk away the Eight of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. A lot of Pentacles here. This person definitely could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign. But um, if there hasn't been any communication, they are working on their life like building their home their future building a foundation okay maybe money wasn't so great for them in the past or right now they could be wanting to work on the relationship too especially if this is a marriage with the ten of pentacles and the communication is a bit off they're trying to work on it they're hoping to work on that two of wands 
Empress in reverse. Now if you're dealing with a Libra, the Three of Cups in reverse. Maybe there was a third party in the past that they've let go of. And now they're longing for you. Okay, maybe they let go of someone in the past. I get the feeling some of you, this person, like you, like you split up and they was in another, in a new relationship and now that's over. For some of you, or it could be you who was in a new relationship and now reunited with this person. The Fool. Ten of Swords. Page of Swords. So sorry, like it's so annoying the construction going on. Um, we have them seeing that you maybe being harsh or not giving them an answer because of what you've been through. This ten of ten of swords you may have gone through loss with them or with someone else. It's like they're seeing that they're seeing your pain. They're seeing you know, everything that's going on with you. It's like they're hoping that you'll take the leap. And they see why you're being cautious. They see why you're holding back. Four of Pentacles. And the Devil. Okay. Uh, Queen of Pentacles, so again, both protecting your heart, but there is this value on this relationship still. Both of you are seeing the value of the relationship, but both are being very cautious. With the Devil, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. So there could have been a lot that went on in the past and now you've come together or you've made eye contact in person after a long time, you know, kind of ended up talking. But now it's like all these feelings from the past coming up. Okay, so let's see, Eight of Swords. Okay, the, the Hierophant, the Hermit, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Swords again, and it's upright also. So, this may have you really anxious, a little bit stressed and wanting to do the right thing, like a lot of thinking going on in your head. So you may be isolating yourself towards the end of this month. There's a lot going on and you're just feeling stuck with everything that's going on, everything that's going through your mind. There's not much resolve for it this month, but yeah, everything happens for a reason is what I just heard. And, you know, coming into June, I feel like things will be more clearer. Let's see what the oracle cards say. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So this could be, I mean, if this is a third party situation, if you have more than one um, person involved, one person needs to be released. Okay, someone needs to be released in this situation. If you're dealing with more than one, that way you can think more clearer. Again, here's the codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. That's why the devil is here. Someone could be codependent here. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So staying positive about your love life. Finance and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. 
Again, this person might really be working on their finances, trying to secure their future. We have forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moment. So there are some things that you need to get rid of, whatever's conflicting your feelings subconsciously. You've got to work through those issues. That should help you to come out of this Eight of Swords energy. This stuck energy. And you can heal through meditation and stuff like that. Or therapy, which takes longer. But meditation's more quicker. A little bit more quick. A lot more quicker, I should say, than actual therapy. Vulnerability. Open your heart, allow yourself to be tender. Fertility, potential, powerful, creative energy, initiation energy. Honor the masculine, respecting men, embracing the, the masculine divine. Reflections, what you contemplate can actualize. So basically, that's about manifestation, keeping your thoughts positive. Goes with um, calling in your soulmate, so your visualizations help bring you together. So make sure it's all positive. The Selkie and her skin, reclaiming your authenticity. Finding yourself during this um, break while you're in hermit mode, while you're kind, kind of um, thinking about what to do. Regaining yourself, um, your power. Atlantis, rapid development, excellence and success. I have a feeling this is about them and what they're doing, you know, their work. This is what they're trying to do. They're trying to build something, you know, trying to build something in their life, something financial and, you know, security. We have guide, a guide, a mentor, trustworthy ally. Someone who can be on your side and help you. Okay, so. Perfect timing. Peaceful resolution. That means it's definitely, yeah, here's the whole timeline. Perfect timing, which means in divine timing, there will be a peaceful resolution yeah, within the next few months. So maybe take some time to just heal. It may, it may take that long um, for you to decide what you want. We have it's up to you. So again, your positive thinking. We have there's something better. This could be work related or a person who is better for you. If you are holding on to the X, because you do have released the X and there's something better. So you could be, some of you could be manifesting someone new. Okay, some of you could be just taking a break from your, your partner. Whatever it is, the main message is to stay positive and to work on yourself in this time. Because everything will improve within the next few months. Right now is a little bit feeling a little bit feeling a little bit stuck in your head right now because there's so much going on, there's so much to think about. There's fears, there's doubt and all of that stuff. All of that stuff needs to be cleared. That's why it says time has come to clear your energy. So whether it be a break from this person and getting back with them in the near future or you attracting someone new, this moment right here is for you to heal and to work on yourself i know it's annoying when you always have to work on yourself but yourself is what you have it's like you have to be functioning a hundred percent before everything around you functions a hundred percent your love life your work life everything so you are like your own machine that has to be running completely fine for everything in your life to be running fine, okay? 
so that you can manifest your clear intentions and you're not manifesting accidentally you know so take that time as an opportunity to perfect yourself even more all right so leo this is your reading for mid-may 2019 check your moon venus and rising if the messages didn't resonate or if you'd like more insights and leave a comment if you want to be a part of the giveaway for the mermaid oracle cards all right by doing so you've entered and i'll be picking the winner at the end of the month so like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't already and thanks for watching